Today on this old trailer, we're going to review and install the Dexter 10 inch electric brake assembly for the passenger or right hand side part number 23-27. Now to begin our install, we first need to remove the old backing plate and shoe assembly. But first we'll go ahead and disconnect the electrical. We need to separate the wire that comes from the axle and the backing plate. Next, we'll remove the fasteners that secure the backing plate to the axle flange. There are a total of four studs that come through the flange and have nuts on them that need to be removed. We have two here on the back side and there's two on the front side. Now with all four nuts removed, we can pull the backing plate assembly off. We're now ready to install the new backing plate assembly. Coming out the back of our backing plate will be our electrical connections. We're going to go ahead and install those first. The two electrical connections will connect to the two wires that come from the axle. We'll need to connect these four wires, green and brown and green and brown. Now it doesn't matter which green ones get connected to which brown ones as it just completes a circuit. Let's go ahead and prep the wires. Now once we have the wires prepped, we're going to use the DECA heat shrink butt connectors to secure them together. Now once we have them crimped down, we'll go ahead and heat them up. Now with our wiring connections made, we'll go ahead and line the studs up with the axle flange and reinstall the nuts to secure it. Now here on the back side of the backing plate is a design and install tab to help secure the excess wiring. We can put a small loop into the wiring, fold the tab over, and secure it back into the backing plate, holding any excess wiring. Now with the brake assembly installed, secured, and wired up, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for our review and install of the Dexter 10-inch electric brake assembly for the right hand or passenger side, 3,500 pound axle, part number 23-27 on this old trailer.